If you're like me, then you've probably spent way too much money on makeup, or you just really love watching YouTube for beauty content, and I do. In fact, so much so that a lot of my favorite creators, I have purchased so many things that they recommend, and I'm gonna use at least something from multiple creators on my face today to try them out and see if they're holy grails for me too, or just favorites in general. I did not specifically mention professional makeup artists and the makeup artists that I did mention today, I found them on YouTube before ever knowing they were professionals or professionals at one time. That's why I felt comfortable adding them in and leaving them to this list. But I think I'm gonna have to do an entire makeup look of holy grails and favorites that all of my favorite professional artists use. Alexandra Nell likes to do soap in her brows. She's experimented with several things. I've been watching her for years. I'm just gonna do the soap because she does the soap. This is not, I don't believe this is the one that she uses. I just happen to have it. I'm going to just spray a little setting spray on the soap and then use my brush here. Hopefully not overdo it because I don't want a whole bunch of junk in my eyebrows. I did do this sometime back a couple years ago and I did think it held my brows better than anything else, but it's tedious and I wasn't overly fond of it. I'm not gonna use a brow pencil because she likes the NYX brow pencil and pen. I don't have the pencil, I just have the pen. So I'm gonna use the pen and hopefully fill in my brows enough to the point where they're presentable. I'm not too unfortunate with my brows, so we should be okay. I learned how to do my brows from Alexandra Nell. I watched multiple videos of her doing hers and I experimented in different ways. That's how I got to the point where I'm comfortable doing my brows. But then, I mean, I watched a lot of people do their brows and just took away a little bit here and there. But her brows are the goat simply because if you know anything about her photos with Pat McGrath, her brows are always on point about as good as I'm gonna get without having a pencil to kind of fill them in and give me a little bit of an outline guidance. My brow pen is in the shade Ash Brown. Next up we have Miss Brittany Ray. I think she's an absolute sweetheart. She is newer to the content creators that I follow. However, I think she is just incredibly creative. Also a mom, she has two small children herself. She loves the Danessa Merrick's Yummy Skin Glow Serum. I am almost out of the samples that I had. I'm kicking myself because I should have bought the large one when the Sephora sale was going on because I know I like it, but I did not. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this one. I'm not too mad about it though because I do have a 20% off coupon for Danessa Merrick's website, so I'll just buy it there. And then I'm still getting a discount. I don't know if I like this serum more than the Natasha Denona one, or if I like it about the same. Probably about the same, but this is a great one. I just like that there's no shimmer particles in here and I just have the healthiest, most beautiful natural glow. Now, if I could do my eyes the way she does, I'd be set. Now listen, Alicia Archer is the goat when it comes to all things knowledge and education. Whether it's fitness or beauty, she is one of the creators I have followed for the longest since ever logging into YouTube for the first time. The amount of knowledge that woman possesses about brushes, products, applications, artists that she follows in general, it is mind boggling. You can tell she is definitely a teacher. And, and I say that in a way like, she's a personal trainer, but she can teach like nobody's business. The way she delivers it is easy to follow, but like, I can't, I, I know what I want to say and half the time I can't get it out. She gets it out, makes it look so easy. And you are just like, how does she know all this? Woman's a genius. And if you're not following her on Instagram to see her workouts, what are you even doing with your life? This is the, and it's one of my newest favorites, Suku The Foundation. I have mine in the shade 210. I just don't like the component of always having to, <laughs> to 
to just scoop the foundation out like that it just drives me nuts. Alicia loves this foundation and honestly, I didn't pick it up before she continued to rave about it and said that this is just her new go-to and she's probably not gonna pick up any other foundations because this one is so great that she'll just keep repurchasing this one. So I was like, okay, I'm sold, I'll buy it. Cause I already had the other cream foundation and I had that in my winter and summer shade and I didn't think I would need any others. So, but here we are. And then when I tried this one, I loved it so much. It quickly jumped into my top three and the finish of it reminded me so much of my beloved Chanel number no. one. There was no going back. I definitely scooped out way too much on that little spatula, but we're gonna make it work since I am not color correcting. I'm gonna have to use a sponge to soak up all this extra product. Ooh, I hate being wasteful. Get out of the way, little crabs. You can't tell me anything. This is so beautiful. I love this foundation. Ooh. She's always dropping knowledge bombs and truth bombs, but this one, this one was the best. Speaking of incredibly knowledgeable, Sophia Sees Beauty, her favorite concealer is the Dior Forever Skin Correct, which also happens to be mine. So this works out perfectly. She does a beauty news type of update every now and again, and they're very informative. I love watching them. She mostly does luxury beauty. Whenever I am curious about some of the newest launches that are coming up, she seems to always have them and have like a jump on the entire industry. So it's great to follow her for that. Her last beauty news update was about Estee Lauder and I was completely oblivious because I just don't follow business news that closely. Oblivious that they were a bit in over their head with their acquisitions. And until I watched her video, I didn't think anything was an issue with Estee Lauder. And I see that she did get the newest Chanel, what is it, the bronze and blush trio before everybody else in <laughs> multiple shades. I was like, okay, hurry up and post that because I need to know if I'm getting it or not. So far, this has been great for me because the primer, brow pen, foundation, and a concealer, they all work for me already, so no misses. Before I move on to the rest of my face though, make me at Missa. Oh, she is such a doll. She loves her setting sprays. I don't have any of the setting sprays that she uses. Her last video of all of her holy grails, she used hairspray. Missa, I am not using hairspray. Urban Decay All Nighter Spray Girl. I'm, I'm not putting hairspray on my face. I'm too old for that mess. Her creative eye makeup is out of this world, like next level. And congratulations to Missa because she is 20 weeks pregnant expecting her first child. So excited for her. She's gonna make such a great mom. One of my all time favorite content creators is Savannah Silver. That woman is like the most beautiful woman on earth. <laughs> it's really unfair how insanely gorgeous she is. She loves a Huda Pattis. She's got a couple different ones, but she loves her Huda. And I just happen to have this one, so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use an hourglass powder brush and just kind of set strategically for the time being. But yeah, she doesn't upload as many beauty videos recently. She had mentioned something about because she's in Japan, it's harder for her to get material and she does more hair videos which work for her and I think they're amazing but I really, really miss her beauty videos. She is out of this world gorgeous. I'm gonna use the same brush, flip it over. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Powder, Morgan Turner's, one of her favorite under eye powders. I do believe she mentioned this one as being like one of her holy grails, so that's why I went with it. I haven't used it in a very long time. She is the queen of speed reviews, let me tell you. that. That girl, she can knock out reviews like it's no one's business. She's incredibly talented. My problem with this powder is it's a little more drying than what I would like. So I try to be very careful how much I use. And I know everyone says it is their favorite and it's so blurring. But honestly, I don't think it's the most blurring, if I'm being truthful. 
and I am not happy about the new powder being pink and it's just such a a light light pink it's not even it's not even like Huda pink I'm gonna move into cream bronzer this is the Fenty Beauty cream bronzer in the shade butter biscuit this is simply Blair's well I, I want to say it's her favorite at least <laughs> I think it is if not, it's it's in her favorites. If you don't watch Simply Blair, she has what I like to describe as that girl next door type of personality, so inviting and just so beautiful and calming, like the everything it girl type of thing. Absolutely enjoyable to watch. This is a Sephora 56 brush. And I, I am so close to hitting pan. I can see it there, but not quite. And I'll definitely repurchase it after I finish it off, but I've neglected it. And I don't know why I've neglected it because it's one of my favorite cream bronzers, but I also just have too much. I had so many things get in the way of filming this video, picking up my son from preschool, my other baby, he just wanted all of my attention, which is fine. I'll give him all the attention. He's in that phase of rolling over and just talking and cooing and wanted to have a conversation and it's really hard to not want to. So this cream just performs so well over powder. I'm impressed, but I already knew that. Hey, Jacqueline is such an inspiration in the beauty community. She is a hustler. This girl is like a full-time mom, a business owner. She owns multiple restaurants and takes care of her home. I don't know how she makes the time for it and still manages to do amazing videos on YouTube. She's incredible. Her favorite, or one of her favorites and most recent bronzers is the Hourglass bronzer. And thank goodness too, because I love Hourglass and it's so easy for me to just pull one of these out anytime I need to. Cannot recommend watching her enough. She has just that, I could do everything super mom type of vibe. I wish I had that go-getter vibe and attitude like she does, but I'm such a homebody. I really am. I love just being home. And she just, she has that energy I wish I had. I just don't. I know my limitations. I'm going to switch and do contour before anything else. Julia Adams from Julia Adams Makeup Artist. She said that the Kaleidos Contour Trio is one of her just holy grails. And I love that because it's one of my holy grails. I just always reach for it for contour. She uses both shades for contour and bronzing. I don't actually use it for bronzing. I use it just for contouring. She's very talented though and easy to watch. She is always able to just pick something up and make it work even if it has like, there's stuff that I cannot pick up and make work and she gets them and somehow they always work on her and always look amazing. I love her cats though. She's always posting little cat intermissions. Those are the best. I'm gonna switch brushes and use a Sigma Kristen Dominique. This is a brighten and bake brush. I'm gonna pick up this contour shade on the tip of the brush. I'm just gonna chisel out my cheekbone a little bit. I'm gonna carefully kind of buff it down just a bit because I went a little overboard. Listen, this would not be an influencer favorites if I didn't mention Angie. <laughs> Angelica Nyquist, N I'm sorry girl. I'm just gonna stop right there and stop trying to pronounce names. She has been loving the Natasha Denona Berry Pop collection. And I remember she mentioned saying she is just so ready to stop going over new things and just play with this one because she loved it so much. And I have only gotten to use it once and I loved it the first time I got to play with it, which is why mine still looks really untouched. And to be quite honest, it it is intimidating for me and my fair skin tone, but it worked and it worked so beautifully. And the fact that she was so excited about it is another reason I wanna use it because <laughs> why not? And she is the queen. 
She's making waves, she got her own brush line. She'll probably end up adding to it with makeup at some point. Did I pick up way too much? Yes, I did. That's okay. Nothing that can't be buffed down and corrected. Nope, see, we gotta buff it down again. I overdid it. I salvaged it. Just buffed it down a little bit. I know she loves a glowy cheek. I'm gonna skip a glowy cheek for today. It has gotten a little too hot. I had to take my sweater off. Lena from Lena Allure is just such a genuine human being. When you talk to her, she is so sincere and so sweet. I have enjoyed getting to know her recently. Her reels on Instagram are what caught me and I've always admired them and wanted to be able to take photography like she does because they're just so captivating. And I, I can't do it. I know my limitations. I don't have that type of skill. But her videos are so calming and so in depth when you're looking into luxury makeup in particular. She's very talented at being able to explain the products, how they apply, how they work, and her input is valuable because she she's very knowledgeable. Her favorite highlighter, I had to ask her because she doesn't have a video talking about her favorites or like top threes, things like that. She mentioned this highlighter. The other ones she mentioned I don't have, but I do have the Tom Ford. This one is the Rose Irise. Came out during the Christmas holidays 2023. And I was like, well, I'm glad she likes that one because I love this formula. It's incredible. If you don't watch her, you're missing out. Actually, if you don't watch any of these people, you are just missing out. But I'm sure everybody does because they are worth it. Mm. Just such a natural, beautiful pink glow. I love it. I'm going to circle back and talk about eye primer before I do my lids. Julia Adams also loves her Fenty primer. While it's not my favorite, I find it to be just a little too tacky. Like, it'll hold everything just fine, but... I think it's just, it's got a little too much tack for my preferences. Tara Lynn has the most beautiful eyes. I can't even describe how gorgeous of blue her eyes are. So naturally, when I was thinking about eyeshadow palette, I thought, well, Tara Lynn, of course, because her eyes are stunning and she loves her Natasha Denona. I need a nude palette and so do I. So perfect combo. And I'm gonna try to make this easy on myself because I just, my eyes, <laughs> nothing feels right today. I'm gonna go in with this shade Mesh. And this is, I believe it's the Sonia G Jumbo Blender. And I'm just gonna pat that in everywhere. And I think I forgot to mention that Tara Lynn always does beautiful, easy, natural looks. Honestly, I like using this Fenty primer after setting it. I think this is just one of those primers I need to set. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm gonna use another Sonia G brush. This one is the S2. I'm gonna go into the shade Silhouette. I really should not be doing anything complicated today after all those eye swatches I did. Give my eyes a break. And this brush is perfect just because of how soft it is. It doesn't irritate my eyes. I'm gonna leave that there for now and use one of her favorite brushes. This is the Sigma Flat Definer. I'm gonna pick up that exact same shade and I'm gonna buff it underneath the lower lash line. This is a Sonia G Builder Brush from the Lotus Collection. I'm gonna go into the shade Delilah. Pick a little bit of that up. I swear I cleaned it, I promise. Ooh, don't overdo it. I'm gonna use the Intensify Stick, which is Martina's absolute holy grail for this next shadow here. Oh, I should have cleaned that off, huh? Oops. No biggie. 
putting something over it. I'm gonna go in with this shade Muse on my finger and then just slap it over that for that little extra va va boom. Or as Alicia likes to say, a zhuzh. A little extra zhuzh. Goodness, that shade is beautiful, but I'm gonna go in with the pink shade Mia for my lower lash line. I'm trying to get that all over my face. Which, you could argue this would be a good reason why you should do your face makeup last, but I may never change. And I'm gonna go into the shade Fair with a rougher 12, highlight my inner corner, Before I finish off my eyes, I'm gonna take that original Jumbo Blender and just buff around these edges here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of mesh on that rougher one. And just kinda of help blend it a little better. I have been living my 90s phase all over again, jamming out to Mariah Carey in the truck on my way home from work. I'm so weird. And one last teensy tiny thing, I'm gonna take a soft definer and go back into the shade Silhouette and just touch up that crease. And as Missa likes to say, it's a lot of back and forth when it comes to blending. And now for the final touches, I'm gonna to take a rougher 26 brush and pick up the shade Sheen for my brow bone. Perfection. Let's curl these embarrassing excuse of lashes. I am not using any content creators recommendation for a pencil. I know it works for my eyes and my hands are so sensitive. I'm just going to use my Lisa Eldridge. I'm going to use a Sony G S1 and smudge that bad boy out. And then we have Miss Charlotte Holdcroft who is God lover always trying to talk me out of buying things that I need, telling me I don't need them. Yes, ma'am, I definitely need them. She has no idea that as much as she wants to help me not waste my money, girl, I am still buying it. I still, I still buy them. Charlotte, your videos don't work. I still buy everything that I need. Or as you say, don't need, but I definitely need them. And I love it every time I find a content creator who's a mom, I just, more power to you. I don't know how you do it. Charlotte's favorite mascara is the Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I don't have that. I don't have any intentions of buying it either. The Kitten Lash from Lisa Eldridge is her favorite or second favorite, that's what I'm using. And the reason I chose Charlotte for mascara is because she just recently uploaded the most helpful video on how she does her lashes. But girl, I don't have your lashes, so I'm wearing falsies. Speaking of another beautiful mom with gorgeous eyes, Heather Austin, who has the eye real estate <laughs> of a mogul, and she loves her lily lashes. I think the Miami ones are her favorites, or one of her favorites. She has so many different ones she wears, but I remember she mentioned at one point that she loves her Miamis. I have Miami light because I just don't have the same type of real estate to work with. And Heather is a respiratory therapist, so she understands my struggle of working long shifts. This one is completely new to me. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it, to be honest. This is Tanya B. Wells' new favorite pressed powder. Her favorite was the Charlotte Tilbury, and then she started using this and was loving it. This is actually my first time using it. So I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but we're gonna try it. Mm. 
Ooh, you're making the forehead look better. That poor eyebrow needs a little touch up too. I think I'm pretty airbrushed. I don't know if I would call it my favorite, but I like it. I think it's beautiful. And I got some lash glue in these lashes and they don't match now. I'm so mad at myself. And then we come to Amra from Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing her name right. I will double check that. I'm sorry if I'm not. Or is it Amra from Amra's Beauty Blog? I've heard you say it so many times. Shame on me. Where did I put my mirror? She has been loving the Lisa Eldridge. This is the Sculpt and Shade lip pencil. I have mine in the shade, what is this, 0C or 1C? 1C. I get a lot of my makeup news from Amra. And last but certainly not least, the new Westman Atelier Lip Suede Lipsticks. Martina mentioned this is her new favorite matte formula. And I am a matte girl through and through. I love my matte lipsticks. So the fact that she loves this one, cha-ching, love that for me. This is the shade Jarev. Martina is an absolute delight. I found her when I was working COVID 60 hours a week at the hospital and her energy just was so calming and refreshing. And it was just the fact that with COVID being so awful for everyone, but working 60 hours a week, being able to come home and just watch her was just so peaceful for me and I loved every minute of it. And because of Martina, that's why I have my channel today. She was inspiring and encouraging. She encouraged me to do it. So here I am. So thank you, Martina. This one's for you. And one last finishing touch. I adore these women all for different reasons. Every single one of them has something unique and creative to add to the community and things that I have taken away from each of them, whether it's learning how to do my brows, learning how to blend, learning how to apply color. I have learned so much over the last years of watching these women and they are just so inspiring and I have felt inspired by them for so long that I felt like this would be a great video to just kind of pay them tribute because if you're not familiar with these creators, maybe you should be. And maybe you just needed to be able to see them to feel inspired the way I feel. So I'm very happy with how my look turned out. Nothing was a dud. I've bought these based off of their recommendations to begin with. There are other creators that I wish I could have added to this, like Carrie Kay. I've gone through multiple other people. If I just couldn't find something within the last six months to one year, listing favorites or reasons why you use something so much, I couldn't really fit them in and I'm limited to so much I can put on my face anyway. I have learned so much because of this space. Future Aura here, just to interrupt, totally forgot to give you my postpartum weight loss update, so yay. I'm down three more pounds. If you found this video fun or inspiring to you as well, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more content. I think we're gonna have to do this more often because this was way too much fun and there are so many other creators to call out. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Everything on my face will be linked down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.